Fueled by Deathcast. I, I love coffee. I I'm a big fan of of yours. So, all right. Death, so I mean, yeah. okay. So so I'm a Chemex guy. You're a Chemex guy. Yeah. Um, and you're a big fan of Death Wish. Like, I'll 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 bite on this. Why? Why are you such a big fan of our coffee? Okay. Have I not? We we really haven't talked about that. I've talked to some of the other guys about it, but um, like I used to buy beans. I would stock up on beans when we go to South America. Like we go to Colombia, and I would buy, you know, go to all the you know, the real fancy places to buy. You know the the beans yep, and bring yep. them home and I, I my suitcase would smell like coffee for like the next year it's the best but and i would stock up right whenever i'd be in south america and it, actually all over the world wherever there was a somewhere i there were beans that were supposed to be great i'd buy and bring them home and um and you guys ruined that all because <laughs> <laughs> i mean legitimately i remember coming home from south america the last time and going, it's just not as good. Wow. And that's that's I mean that's and that's completely legit. I'm not I've got nothing to sell. So Right, right. No. <laughs> no, I believe you. You know, it's pretty cool that you guys are that it's just it, and I know that the hype is like the strongest or the uh whatever the world's strongest coffee, yeah. Strongest coffee. It, but it's the world's most delicious coffee in my opinion. I mean like the it's just really great tasting coffee. I think I'm immune to stimulants at this point in my life. Mm-hmm. I hear you, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's but it's just great tasting coffee. Well, thank you so much, and we do pride ourselves on that because I mean, ever since we started, it it you obviously is, must. Well, ever since we started, it's it's kind of opened up this floodgate of of lots of companies professing the most caffeine content, the most all this stuff, and a lot of them, if you do your research, a lot of them actually add caffeine to the beans, and that's bad. That's going to give you a stomach ache. That's going to you know it 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 a hundred percent makes the acidity higher, and we pride ourselves on not only. Fair trade and organic coffee, and we source our beans, you know, in a very good way. But we also, the way that we roast them, it, we make sure that it makes this good tasting, low acidic coffee. And and it and it's and it's great when I hear somebody like you who's literally traveled the world looking for a great cup of coffee, and 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 you know goes to South America, which is the coffee you know mecca, you know, getting this coffee, and and has such nice things to say about our product. Yeah, I. I'm a big fan. Well, do you like Turkish coffee? Yes, I do. Me when too. I like, uh, um, I just the great thing about traveling the world is that I get to experience like all the great coffees of the world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And 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 it's it's uh, one of the things I love about Turkish coffee is the same thing. Kind of I love about Chemex is it's like this chemistry of creating the cup of coffee. It's not just uh-huh. your drip method. It's it's interesting. Yeah, it's all about the bloom. Yeah. And the right temperature. You have the water has to be, yeah, the yeah. right temperature. It's awesome. It's awesome that you're you're such a you're 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 such a fan of coffee and coffee culture. Yeah, it's the process, and you know, you replace uh, one vice with another. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And there's no better vice than coffee. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. 